I feel I'm very fortunate being here at Colt Park. My grandfather came here in 1925 as a tenant from a small family farm at Hornby. We'd bought uh, a small nucleus herd of pedigree Belgian blues. Things have progressed on from there to where we are today. There are no females on the farm, purely males and predominantly native breeds. One of the greatest, I suppose, satisfactions that I've always had with livestock is actually feeding them in the morning. There's nothing better than a, a strong, healthy animal striding out towards you to greet you in the morning. When you're dealing with livestock, you're dealing with lives, you're dealing with health. And for me, and it has always been the case with cattle, is to have the welfare of that animal at the forefront. A lot of this is pinned down to the diet, and that's particularly in the winter that you create for them. And we spend a lot of time getting that right. Everything that goes in them is coming off this farm, and I call that sustainable. During the summer, we're not, we're not feeding them to fatten them. All these native breeds are fattening off grass to get that balance. And I think ultimately, with us, with the diet that we're feeding, we, we are benefiting by the carcass quality at the end of the day. The marbling, the fat actually on the, on the surround of the, of the joint, the, the marbling that runs through the muscle is just the flavor that's second to none. been elsewhere you know in the milk industry where the relationships are very 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 poor and because of that I really do appreciate what we're doing here and what we're doing through LDF it's just keeping the balance a happy animal is a happy man I am Mark Towers and this is why <laughs>